everyone, welcome to the video about limits and continuity. In this video, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about um, how we use these things in calculus and hopefully keep it nice and short and, well, pretty sweet. But um, I, I think, yeah, I'll hopefully better get through this in one video. I thought to start off, I might share this gem with you from the um, Cambridge Math Methods Unit 3 and 4 book. A function is continuous, sorry, a function is discontinuous at a point if it is not continuous at that point. Um, yeah, I thought that was quite a nice explanation of it. So anyway, <laughs> moving on from there. Um, I'm going to go into limits first. I hope that you are fairly comfortable with evaluating limits already. You know, it's something which should be pretty straightforward. We've already been doing it for the whole topic, so, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully you got that. And I thought I'd show you this one here because it's just a slightly different situation. Like we're, uh, sorry, we're evaluating the limit as x approaches negative three of this. And we can see if we sub negative three in, we're gonna make the denominator zero. So it would be undefined. Um, but there is a way that we can work around that. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this fraction. So I'm gonna do the limit as x approaches negative three and I'm going to factorize the numerator to get x plus 3 and x plus 6. And then that's over x plus 3. So you can see that the x plus 3 is going to cancel each other out, leaving us with the limit as x approaches negative 3 of x plus 6. And when we sub that in, we're going to get our answer. So we just sub in the negative 3 here, it's negative 3 plus 6, which is just equal to 3. The textbook goes into all of these rules for limits. To be honest, I don't think they're really necessary to know. I think that a lot of them are quite intuitive. For example, if you um, are adding two functions together, then you can evaluate the limit of each one separately and just add them together. But, you know, that kind of thing is a little bit unnecessary. And I think it'd just be a waste of space in your head, you know. So let's go on. Explain why f of x equals that. So x where x is greater than or equal to zero and negative x squared plus one where x is less than zero is discontinuous at x equals zero using limits. First thing I'm gonna do in a question like this is I'm gonna sketch it. So f of x equals x, well, that's just a straight line going through the origin should make a 45 degree angle, I was pretty close. But that's it there, and that's where x is greater than zero. So I'm going to draw a closed circle there, or I'm gonna to attempt to draw a closed circle at least. Okay, and then it's a closed circle because it's greater than or equal to. We've also got negative x squared plus one where x is less than zero. So that has a y-intercept of one. I'm gonna draw an open circle there because it is less than that, so it's not including that point. And it's gonna go something like that. So right away we can see it's discontinuous. It's got this jump here. Um, and, well, you know, let, let's just uh, see how we can do this using limits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate the left and right hand limits. Now this is something which you may or may not remember, but the limit as x approaches zero from the left, so we just put a little negative sign there to show that it's from the left, of f of x, so we're coming in from the left side, coming along here, and the value there, remember the limit is just the value of the function, is one. On the other hand, the limit as x approaches zero from the right, so a little plus sign there to show that's the right hand limit of f of x. So coming in from the right hand side, we're coming down here until we approach this value right here, which is zero. So that's equal to zero. So what I can then um, determine is that the left-hand limit is not equal to the right-hand limit. And therefore, it is discontinuous. Anyway. We'll leave that there. I don't think there's much more to it, really. Um, so, yeah. Catch you later.